So for this general power rule for integration and using the shortcut method, then for this given to evaluate the integral, so first put this constant outside, then over the derivative of that equation inside the parentheses. So the derivative of 3x, this is 3, then times this equation inside the parentheses, so that's 3x plus 6, then for the exponent plus 1, so to the power 5, then over, this denominator must be equal to this exponent, so over 5 plus c, then to simplify, so since we have this 5 in the numerator and 5 in the denominator, so we can cancel, and this is equal to 1 over 3, then times 3x plus 6 to the power 5 plus c. Then for this given, so observe that in the equation inside the parentheses, there is x squared, so therefore, there must be x outside the parentheses. So to evaluate now the integral using the shortcut method, so this constant over the derivative of 4x squared, this is 8, so just take the constant, then times this equation inside the parentheses, then plus 1 for the exponent to the power 7. Then again, this denominator must be equal to this exponent, then plus c. And to simplify, so multiply this 8 times 7, so this is 2 over 56. Then we have 4x to the power 2, minus 3 to the power 7, plus c. Then we need to reduce divisible by 2. So this is 1 over 28. Then times the quantity of 4x squared minus 3 to the power 7 plus c. Then for this given, so since this is x to the power 3, therefore, there must be x to the power 2 outside this parenthesis so that we can use this general power rule formula for integration. So again, we need to put the constant outside. Since there is no given constant, so this is equal to 1, then over the derivative of 7x to the power 3, this is 21, so that's 7 times 3 then times this 7x to the power 3 plus 13 plus 1 for the exponent to the power 4, then over 4 plus c. Then to simplify, so multiply this 21 and 4, so this is 1 over 84, then times 7x to the power 3 plus 13, to the power 4 plus e. And for this given, so first, we need to bring up this denominator. So we have the integral of 2x minus 5 quantity to the power negative 3 over 2, then the dx then to evaluate now the integral, so there's no given constant, so this is 1, then over the derivative of 2x, that's 2, then times 2x minus 5. So since the given exponent is in fraction form, and since plus 1, so the shortcut method for this equation, so just add these two numbers, and you put the negative in the denominator. So if we have negative 6 over 5 plus 1, so just add this negative 6 plus 5, that's negative 1, and you copy this denominator, that's 5. 
Then if we have negative 7 over 3 plus 1, so again, we have this negative 7 plus 3, that's negative 4, and you copy the denominator. So for this negative 3 plus 2, that's negative 1, then copy the denominator 2, then over, the same with the exponent, then plus e. Then to simplify, so we have 1 over 2 times the reciprocal of this negative 1 half. This is negative 2 over 1, then times 2x minus 5, quantity to the power negative 1 half, then plus c. Then this positive 1 half times negative 1 half, so we can cancel, this is 1 and positive 1 times negative 1, so this is negative 1, then times 2x minus 5 to the power negative 1 half plus c. Then to make this exponent positive, so you bring down, so this is equal to negative 1, then over 2x minus 5 to the power positive 1 half, plus e. Then for this given, so again, we need to bring up this denominator. So we have the integral of x squared plus 8 to the power negative 1 over 5 10 times x dx. So since the equation inside the parentheses is x squared, therefore there must be an x outside so that we can use this general power rule for integration. Then using now the shortcut method, so there's no constant outside, so this is 1, then over the derivative of x squared, this is 2, then times x to the power 2 plus 8, so this is negative 1 plus 5, that's positive 4, then over 5, then also 4 over 5 plus c. Then to simplify, so this is 1 over 2 times the reciprocal, that's 5 over 4, then x squared plus 8 to the power 4 over 5 plus c. And to simplify, so this is 5 over 8, then times x to the power 2 plus a to the power 5 over 4 plus e. Then for this given, so using the shortcut method, so if there is x to the power 4 inside the parentheses, then there must be x to the power 3 outside. So using now the shortcut method, so we have 7 over the derivative of 2x to the power 4. So 2 times 4, that's 8. Then times 2x to the power 4 plus 9. Then for the exponent, so we need to add these two numbers. 3 plus 5, that's 8 over, this is the denominator over 8. Then also, 8 over 5, then plus e. And to simplify, so 7 over 8 times the reciprocal, 5 over 8. Then we have 2x to the power 4, plus 9 to the power 8 over 5, plus e. Then to simplify, so the 7 times 5, that's 35, then 8 times 8, this is 64. Then we have 2x to the power 4 plus 9 to the power 8 over 5 plus c. Then for is given, so we have the cube root of the quantity of 5x squared minus 3 to the power 7. So since this one is x squared, then there must be x outside. 
identify now the integral. So since there is no constant, so this is 1 then over the derivative of 5x squared. So 5 times 2, that's 10. Then we have 5x to the power 2 minus 3 to the power 7 plus 3. That's 10 over, this is the denominator. Then also over 10 over 3, then plus C. Then to simplify, so 1 over 10 times 3 over 10, so the reciprocal. Then we have 5x squared minus 3 quantity to the power 10 over 3 plus C. And this is equal to 3 over 100 times 5x to the power 2 minus 3 then to the power 10 over 3 plus C.